Every news story needs a where. This one is the small town of Mineola, circulation 1500, population triple that. You know the old, the old New York Times saying, all the news that's fit to print. Ours is just the opposite. It's all the news that fits, we print. And Phil Major heads the family-run small town paper they bought in 2019. <laughs> Well, you don't run into the people in the grocery store that you cover in a big town, I'm guessing. As you can imagine, Phil wears many hats, but most importantly... Here's the difference in us. Husband. He's the listener. I'm the talker. Together, 42 years, about as long as Phil has been in news. They are the last beacons of true community journalism. I don't know how to put that into words. He studied yeah. history at UT. It's bad for a guy that uses words, isn't it? Now he documents that history for a weekly Thursday paper. A full slate of city, school board, chamber meetings, weekend events, and high school sports. What he can do, I don't do. What I do, he cannot do. Not very well. <laughs> yeah. Lisa works the business side. Their son, Sam, takes the pictures. With a freelance writer, they cover 300 square miles and well. They've come up with the term news deserts now. Communities without papers at all, and what they're seeing is the civic engagement goes down. The voter turnout goes down. Here and everywhere, subscriptions are going down. For a while, print has been bleeding, and with barely any margins. Phil and Lisa want to retire soon. What will happen to the paper is unknown, and that could hurt. The community, absolutely. You're going to lose the history. The headline for every edition here is a place where news perseveres. Well, there's another paper next week. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> In Mineola, I'm Joven Punniker.